while I got time on the field so that I can leave Savannah better than where I found it. And we do apologize for the brief technical difficulty. It is that loud in here that it is hard to hear myself speak. But yes, still a very lively crowd here as Savannah Mayor Van Johnson was elected to a four more year term, making him the 68th mayor of the city. Many notable figures here, including former mayors as well as city council members. Mayor Johnson also telling the crowd that he talked to Georgia Senator Raphael Warnock and Senator John Austin off after the victory. He says it was a team effort and he's very excited to continue to serve the city that he called home. A Savannah State University graduate giving a shout out to them, his mother with him up on stage. So a big celebratory night here for Savannah Mayor Van Johnson. All right, Olivia, thank you so very much for that report tonight. And incumbent Mayor Van Johnson calling the race just after 10 p.m. tonight. And joining us on set tonight is Dr. Kimberly Martin, Assistant Professor of Political Science at Georgia Southern. Dr. Martin, thank you for joining us. Let's talk about this epic landslide. That's what we're, I think, the best way to describe it, because uh, Mayor Van Johnson beat, the, in, beat his challenger, Keisha Gibson Carter, in almost every single precinct, particularly in the precincts that she won when she beat, uh, when, when she won the at-large position four years ago. Right. Yeah, so Mayor Van Johnson, I think he can take this as almost a mandate from the voters, that the voters believe in the job that he's doing and they want to see him continue on for the next four years. So what does he do? Does he go big? Does he go large now that he has the mandate from the voters and he has the alderman in his, in his corner? And what issues should he tackle? Right, so he certainly could go big if he wanted to. He has the support of city council. Um, I think there are some things that he really would like to look at. He's really focused on public safety, transportation, affordable housing. I know he's also mentioned that he'd like to focus on homelessness and gun violence in the city as well, and potentially mental health. So these are some of the big issues that he can really focus on now. And we talked about this a little bit earlier today. Uh, it seems like all the incumbents have won their races, and it wasn't that way four years ago. That's right. So the big headline of the night is the, the incumbents win. It was the incumbents night. This was not something we saw four years ago. Four years ago, we saw a lot of challengers beat incumbents. And this year, we see a complete opposite situation happening. All right, Dr. Martin, thank you so very much for joining us this evening. Thank you.